You know, it takes, uh, in order to, to move this legislation to, to uh, name a highway through the, through the General Assembly, it takes not only uh, a senator to sponsor the legislation, but also on the other side of the House, it takes a member of the House of Representatives to, to also sponsor uh, the legislation in their chamber. And with us today is, is the individual, uh, the Honorable Representative Steve Hodges, who sponsored the legislation on the House side of the General Assembly. Well, thank you, Mark. Uh, you know, I too, as I was, was turning off the road to come down here toward the Matthews School, and, and I thought, you know, uh, I, was, I called Mike Powell a while ago when I was on my way over here, and of course, you get ready to walk out the door. I had three phone call, constituent phone calls this morning. That's a pleasant side of the, this job. But the most pleasant side of this job is taking part in an activity like this today. About five years ago, I met Gene for the first time when I was running for office. Once you met him, you didn't forget him. <laughs> he was what I call an innovator. There's a number of times after I got elected to office and, and Gene had called me up at the Capitol and he said, Steve, let me run this by you. I've got an idea. <laughs> And I always enjoyed talking. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we had too much time to think. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're fortunate to have him. I'll tell you what, when I come into Matthews, uh, uh, I've lived in and around this uh, area all my life. My father was from Sykeston, uh, farmer, and, and uh, my mother from Cape, and I've lived in East Prairie most of my life. And I've said time and time again, there's no place else I'd rather live than out in the country. Uh, there's something about uh, rural Missouri, and especially small towns like this, I've come over here and, and been in on the community dinners, uh, fundraisers. That's what these small towns are all about. And that's what Gene Curtis is about. Gene Curtis dedicated his life to the service of other people. And in the future, when I drive by and I see this sign, I'm always going to be reminding him, not that I'm going to forget him anyway. And it's just like Blake Hall and the Highway for Heroes, the sign out here at the intersection. That young man lost his life in Afghanistan. He worked for me three years in my grocery store in East Prairie. Those people leave special marks on your life. And Gene Curtis was certainly about that. A couple of years ago, uh, uh, we started the effort of trying to push this bill through to get this memorial highway passed. And uh, Mike Pyle, my good friend Mike, a uh, great innovator himself, and I know how close they were like brothers. I know we spoke at the funeral, and a lot of people uh, were very close to Gene. And so we found out that uh, uh, the procedure we had to go through to get this job done, Mike came up and testified, and we talked a little bit about the accomplishments uh, that he had uh, made in the community and what he, how he dedicated his life, and certainly he is a deserving person for this award. I'd just like to say to the family, it's always been my pleasure and it always will be. And I, I, I am glad that they are honoring your family for all the work that he did. On behalf of the family, I want to thank all of you that worked so hard for so long to get this done. Well, thank you. We're, we're looking forward to this unveiling. Thank you for having me here today. <laughs> Thank you, Representative. And of course, once uh, once a bill has sponsors on both the Senate side and the House side of the General Assembly, you've got to win support. In order to make it pass, you've got to get enough votes. And and here with us today is uh, a, a firm supporter of the legislation to get this highway highway named. And I'm pleased to introduce to you the uh, the Honorable Representative Terry Swinger. Thank you, Mark. I invited myself here today. Because <laughs> these two gentlemen are the ones that sponsored these house, but, but, but I did meet G, and, and I, I admired him. I admired his spunk. I admired the, well, you know, he, he sought a much higher office, and he, he had the guts to do that, and I admire that. And, and I, uh, well, the first piece of legislation that I sponsored was was a memorial highway for Governor John M. Dalton, who is the first Southeast Missourian that was governor of the great state of Missouri from 60 to 64. And then 
Then after that, uh, Warren Hearns was, became the first two-term governor, and we just had a wonderful ceremony for Governor Hearns. He was inducted, the 33rd inductee, into the, into the House of Famous Missourians at, at the Capitol. And, and I think it's so fitting that we have these ceremonies to, to recognize people of this importance. I'm, I'm so impressed with the family. 13, is that right? There were 13 siblings, and we have two sisters and two brothers here today. And is it three brothers? And there are five surviving brothers, is that right? And three of those five are here. That, that is wonderful. I, I have to feel that, that, that a man that would get married uh, and have four teenage daughters like that. Sometimes there had to be a little, little bit of fun go on. And when I met Dr. Jim Davis a while ago, he told me he was the minister of the Christian church. And I told him about this good friend of mine who says he's a Methodist. Because he said when he and Judy started dating, he went to the Christian church and she went to the Methodist church and they found out it was easier to be a Methodist than a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> and I think someone like Scott Matthews, that will, he and his sister will make a donation like they have to help with community colleges, to help with getting our folks back to work. I, I, I think that, that it is fitting to have these, these things and to recognize people that have, have done things. I was, I was uh, the things that Senator Mayer said that he was a, a, a city marshal, a city judge, a mayor, but, but more importantly, as the mayor and I were talking a while ago, he worked hard to make Matthews all the way out to take in the truck stops out there to make Matthews one of the most viable financial entities in southeast Missouri. And, and most of all, I'm impressed because he's a brother of mine, because as a Mason, I know Dr. Davis where his heart really is and the way he really felt. So it is a pleasure for me to be able to be here today. I really enjoy things like this to be able to honor people that have made such great contributions to their community. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Our final speaker of the day, you know, I've noticed in, in, in the, the years that I've, I've been in southeast Missouri and, and worked on highway projects and different things that really to make things happen it, it starts at that, that local level and, and folks get together on the local level and, and they work together and, and it takes leadership from the local level to begin to, to move things up and, and get things done and, and we're, um, it's, we're fortunate here this morning to have with us the Honorable Mayor Jim Burr of Matthews. Thank you. Uh, this is real important to me. Uh, I was born in this town. And, uh, this is my home and has been for most of my life. But when I came back to Matthews after working away for a while, I saw some of the things that Gene was doing. And Gene, they had an opening on the city council and Gene asked me to fill it because I had been mayor here once before. And I wanted, I really liked what Mud and Gene were doing. They were working to improve the city. Everybody's talked about what a good farmer, a good soldier, uh, a good chicken producer Gene was. That's not what Gene was. Gene was a salesman. <laughs> <laughs> I've known Gene all my life, and, and Gene could see the beauty in something. And he could tell how it would turn out if we all worked towards that end. And he would work towards <coughs> that end. He would take something in the rough and he would shine it up and take it and sell it, make him a profit on it. That's what Gene was, and he saw that with the city. He knew that the city could be much more than what, it, what we had grown up in. And he shared that vision with me. And I agreed to come on board with him and help him get these uh, streets paved and the water system up and the drainage done. 
and he's did a really good job of that, and he's still doing that job, and I appreciate it. Gene probably wouldn't have been the person he was without having a good family support, and I would like to recognize Gene's wife, Widow. Uh, out his things and do a few things and one of the best things he did was uh, put together uh, good communications with the county uh, we couldn't have did this without the help of Tom Bradley and the whole uh, county commission and Mike Piles he, he works with the county he ties everything together and he makes my job real easy I'm an electrician but uh, I'm able to talk and listen to people without getting too mad and tell them what what we're trying to do and when people see what we're trying to do most of them say I want to help this is a good city and Gene was a major part of it thank you for coming out wow after listening to all that there's a uh no wonder how, how easily this legislation uh, made it through the General Assembly and, and quickly uh, going to get these signs up and, and out on the highway. So we do, I would like to um, make sure I thank the mayor and also Mike Piles for their work in helping us pull this event together, get it organized and all that kind of stuff. Uh, thank you for, for your, your assistance with that. That kind of concludes the, the speaking part of our ceremony. What we need to do now is uh, we'd like to uh, have our speakers as well as uh, the Curtis family members. If you would please come up and we'll have the unveiling of the sign. 